Trump triumphs over Nikki Haley in the South Carolina primary, narrowing Haley's nomination prospects. Voters of the Palmetto State, often predictors of the party's final candidate, favor Trump. Following successes in Iowa, New Hampshire, and Nevada, Trump's position strengthens. The loss deals a severe blow to Haley, former ambassador to the United Nations under Trump. Despite the setback, Haley persists in her campaign and plans ahead for Super Tuesday. Haley organizes a rally in Michigan and pursues a visit through several potential Super Tuesday states. Her refusal to concede provokes controversy among Trump supporters. Critics liken Haley's campaign to David battling Goliath, predicting her defeat. Despite criticisms, Haley's supporters stand by her steadfastly, envisaging her as a future party leader. Speculation emerges that Haley might be gearing up for a future presidential bid, should Trump no longer stand. Trump facing legal difficulties, resorts to campaign funds to address his financial strains. Haley highlights it as unusual for a candidate to spend more time involved in legalities than campaigning. Despite this, Trump's legal troubles, paradoxically, rally his supporters further, solidifying his campaign. Looking toward the general election, Trump's campaign begins to refocus on his likely opponent, Joe Biden. Asserting control, Trump's team positions itself within the Republican National Committee, stirring controversy. Trump stirs up support with a speech at the Conservative Political Action Conference, CPAC, before celebrating his victory in South Carolina. Haley, undeterred, carries out her civic duty by voting on Kiowa Island, where she resides. Rounding out a highly charged day, she makes a pit stop in Charleston before speaking at an election night party.